guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a full face of makeup using my left hand. I've seen this challenge going around recently and I just thought it would be really, really fun to do today. I feel like I'm pretty good with my left hand and people make this video look so easy, but at the same time, I'm extremely terrified. I feel like I'm gonna come out looking super crazy. So I'm just gonna jump straight into the video. If you guys wanna see me do a full face of makeup with my left hand, then just keep on watching. Okay, charged up. I'm actually just gonna jump straight into foundation. I already prepped my skin with my rose hip oil and also my Tarte Ready Set Radiant Skin Mist. These have been my go-to like skin prepping products in the morning. Um, and I'm not gonna put a primer on today just because I'm literally gonna take a shower and wash all this makeup off as soon as I'm done filming. And why waste a primer, you know? Primer is to make your makeup last longer. I'm just not trying to make my makeup last long. So we're gonna jump into foundation. I decided I'm gonna use my CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation today. I'm like almost out of this stuff and I haven't used it in forever. But back in the day, like a couple years ago, I guess, I used to wear this to work all the time. Oh, I just put it on this hand though. <laughs> ah. Okay, maybe I'll just put it all over my face and then blend it out with my left hand. Okay, I'm just gonna blend that out with my Real Techniques Miracle Consplet. Com what? Okay, I'm just gonna blend that out with my Real Techniques Miracle Consplet. Oh my god, I did it again. I'm not saying it over again. You guys know what I'm using. You guys know what this is. I always use a sponge to blend out my foundation, but I feel like it's also the easiest. <laughs> this is difficult though. This is like really difficult. Also, I did biceps and triceps the other day. My arms are so sore right now and this is not helping this challenge like at all. I'm totally like slapping my face. This foundation's nice though, like it's a little bit more matte than I like. I like a really dewy finish foundation, but that's why I liked it for work because it's matte and it lasted a long time. We're gonna move on to concealer. So I'm gonna use my Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. I never say the whole name because it's just way too much. But this is in the shade Fair Neutral. By the way, the foundation was in the shade 115 Buff Beige, but I I love the color of this concealer. It's so brightening and pretty. And I usually go for super yellow toned concealers, um, but I actually like that this one's more neutral. Oh, okay, this is probably a lot of concealer. I'm gonna put just a little bit on the lid. There's like nothing on my dofa right now. On <laughs> my dofa. <laughs> okay, and again, blend that sucker out. We're doing pretty good. Okay, I'm just gonna set that under eye really quickly with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Okay, now I'm just gonna take that concealer one more time and do a little bit of highlighting on the center of my face. Wow, that's difficult. My skin is extremely dry right now, like drier than even normal because I got a slight sunburn last weekend. Very slight, but I was very mad about it. And I like to let my skin completely heal of its sunburn before I exfoliate or anything. So yeah, haven't had the chance to do that and my skin looks so terrible right now, like especially my nose. Ugh. Okay, I kinda wanna take a break from all the face stuff, so I'm gonna fill in my brows next. Yep. I'm just gonna use my normal Milani brow kits. Okay, here we go. This isn't as hard as I thought it'd be, but I'm definitely not going for like a precise cut brow today by any means. And just extend the tail a tiny bit. Oh, oh no. Woo, we got some big bushy brows today. It's turning really thick. Oh gosh. Maybe we'll just thicken this one up a little bit, even though they're already way too thick. Oh! <laughs> I just poked myself in the egg. We need to move on. This is embarrassing. Okay, let's go back to the face. I feel like I was doing a little better there. We're just gonna quickly bronze with you know what. Seriously though, it's NYC Sunny Bronzer if you're new here. 
It's really hard to go like fast and like blend out. It's just not good. It actually doesn't look that bad though. This whole side of my face is gonna be terrible. I'm gonna have to take my thumbnail like this. My lazy way of contouring my nose. <laughs> It's not contouring at all. It's really just adding some color to it so that it doesn't get lost in my face. Oh, my hand. Ow. Okay, um, I never do blush, but let's put some blush on. Why not, right? Let's use Benefit's Coralista because it's an oldie, but it's such a goodie. Am I right? My bronzer brush was by Real Techniques, by the way, and I'm using um, the cheek brush now. Wow, it's way more glowy than I remember it. It's like super glowy, bro. Just so you guys know, blush does not really go all over your face. Okay, let's move on to highlight because highlight just makes everything look better, you know? I'm gonna use my Anastasia and Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit, of course. Like, my favorite highlight before I got this is literally sitting over there and it has a bunch of dust on it. Like, literally collecting dust over there because I can't put this guy down. Um, I don't think I've used Just Forever Lit on my face in a tutorial yet, so I think I'm gonna use that shade today. And again, this brush Brushes by Real Techniques, it is the highlighting brush. Yeah! My arm is so tired. I can't hang. I cannot hang. Do the nose and the bridge of the nose. Cupid's bow and the chin. So basically your entire face. Okay. I feel like I don't look that bad. We are gonna do some eyeshadow now. I think I'm gonna use my Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette today. I got this palette and the Sweet Peach palette basically at the same time and I thought I would use the Anastasia one way more but to be honest I pick the Sweet Peach up way more. Way more. Just saying. Okay, first brush I'm taking is my Morphe M441 and I'm going to switch to my left hand and I'm going to go in with the shade Burnt Orange. This is going to be interesting. I feel like other people are so much better at this than me. Seriously, I was watching some of these tutorials and I'm just like, it doesn't look that hard. Like, their makeup still looks really good. This is literally so difficult. Okay. Okay. Probably all gonna look super choppy and unblended, which is like not okay. But before I get too out of control, I'm going to highlight my brow bones so that I kind of know where to stop. Um, so I'm just going to take Tempera. And this is an Eco Tools flat shader brush. Oh, there's like a lot of glitter on this. Great. Oh, well. On a real note though, this Tempera shade is gorgeous. I'm trying to go in like circular motions just to blend that edge out. It's not really working for me though. I'm, like lifting my whole lid. I'm like, let's add Real Gar, the orange shade in here. Excuse me, I'm trying to film. Like all these people in their loud trucks and everything. Like I just live on the busiest road and it's always so loud. Okay, I'm actually really scared to go in with this orange shade and I should have gone in with a different brush. <laughs> it's like actually not looking half bad. I thought it was gonna come out way worse. I mean, it could in a minute here come out terribly. What is this hair doing though? Okay. I'm gonna switch to my Morphe M433 now, and I think I'm gonna try adding a little bit of Cypress Umber, which is just the matte dark brown in here. I'm so scared. Ah! I'm gonna just try adding it more to like the outer corner to start. I don't wanna go too overboard with this, which is what I see myself doing. I'm gonna add a little more. And I'm just kind of like patting it there. Okay, my camera actually died there, but it's okay. I put everything down. I just completely stopped and walked away for a while. I was blending out this brown here. I literally didn't even finish blending. I was like, 
feel like that looks pretty good. I don't know. Go into this side, just placing that color there on the outer corner. And then, oops, we're gonna blend. Oh gosh, this one's turning out much sloppier. I think I'm bringing it into my crease too much. No, 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 don't do that. <sighs> this is so hard. I'm just gonna do a little on the lower lash line. So I'm gonna use the same colors that I was using, starting out with burnt orange. Ugh. Ah! Now my eye's watering. We're looking crazy. Okay, that's actually all we're gonna do on the lower lash line because I'm struggling. Okay, we are really looking crazy. I'm gonna take a big old clean blending brush. This is an e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. And I'm just gonna literally go like right here on the outer edge. Oh, this is difficult. It's difficult. Let's move on. I'm gonna use mascara now. I'm so scared. My go-to recently has been the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. This could like seriously mess up the whole thing. Like seriously. They are looking quite clumpy. Ah! I'm definitely getting it on my lid a little bit. Do I do this or this? Ah! Oh! That's exactly what I did not want to happen. Look. Transfer it on both eyes. This is gonna be kind of weird, but I'm gonna let my mascara mess dry a little bit so that I can wipe it away with a Q-tip really easily. Um, so I'm gonna do my lips really quick and then clean it up and do mascara on the lower lashes. I know that's like a super weird order, but that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna use my trusty Kat Von D Bow and Arrow liquid lipstick. This is probably my most used liquid lipstick. Oh God, this is gonna be interesting. Okay, not too shabby, not too shabby. I mean, it's absolutely terrible, but I mean, those are pretty crisp edges for my left hand. Not really though, like look over here. Seriously, way better than I thought though, okay? Okay. Ugh. Okay, let's try cleaning this up a little bit. Nice! See, if you wait for it to dry completely, it comes off way easier. Okay, so I think I'm gonna try a different mascara on my lower lashes. I just feel like I'm gonna make a big old mess. So I'm just gonna go in with my Jordana Best Lash Extreme Volumizing Mascara. Okay, not too bad. I feel like I'm kind of cheating though because I'm literally using this stuff because it's so dried out. Hey, at least I'm being honest. Oh my god, this is so hard. Okay, good enough. Good enough. I'm actually pretty proud of myself. Like, I definitely don't love this makeup look, but I did a lot better than I thought I was gonna do. I was worried it was gonna turn out like my five minute makeup challenge. I literally looked like a five year old did my makeup. But I mean, if I had to, I would totally go out like this. Yeah, sure. I hate my brows, I hate my mascara, but my lips are okay. Pretty proud of how I didn't make my lips ginormous. I feel like my skin looks pretty good, even though it was looking super dry with the highlight and bronzer and everything. I feel like it's looking okay. It's really just these light, bushy, gross brows that are bugging me and the clumpy, spidery lashes. But like I said, it's way better than I thought it was gonna be. I had so much fun trying this out and I totally challenge you guys to try it out as well. It's a really fun thing to just sit down and try doing and like I said it's a lot harder than you'd think it would be but at the same time like I feel like you can come up with an okay makeup look as well at least I feel like I did an okay job not as good as Nikki tutorials and Kathleen lights but I feel like I did okay Okay, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this little different video. Again, I had so much fun and I really want to try out some more challenges. If you guys have any challenge requests, definitely leave them down below because I want to do more. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up for me if you did enjoy. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below as well. And I don't think I have anything else to tell you guys except I love you so much and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye! 
I'm not even gonna slay the camera. Like, should I? Like, nah. Turn my swag on. Kind of sweating. Okay, I. Okay, I think. Okay, I think we're all finished. I'm gonna zoom you guys out. Yeah.